I intentionally wanted to try to build something my way completely different, but it was something I could do. When I first started building games with Alexa, it's a wild west. You build a phone game, there are very few people in that space really doing something new. With Alexa, everything's new. I'm Ryan Jordan and I'm the CEO of LC Publishing. I think I've pretty much wanted to be an author about my entire life. I just love to write, published a few books on Amazon and used the pen name Lincoln Cole. And that just stuck. When I started building Alexa skills, I still wanted to have an outlet for storytelling. So I wanted to have a way that I could create stories that were similar to or derived from books that I'd already written. A lot of games I play, RPGs, things like that, I wanted to see what can I recreate that people can explore in here. Because I always love tabletop gaming, Dungeons and Dragons, that kind of stuff. Welcome back to the Dark Citadel. Dark Citadel came about from just creating a choose your own adventure and layering a ton of features and interactions and things you can do on top of it. It's basically my take on a tabletop game within Alexa. Just follow the main road up the thoroughfare and you won't be able to miss it. Once I kind of had the ability for people to contact me, I'm finding out that a lot of players are visually impaired. They love the games and they love the fact that I built everything like a voice interface first, but that was not at all anything I ever intended. There's just been so much support from Amazon that hasn't been in a lot of other places. I use the developer console a ton. When I start developing something new on the Dark Citadel, I'll start over in the console. I can see what's actually being sent. While I'm actually working on building something new, I will typically check it over here, see how it looks comparatively. I like the skill scores. That's like a newer feature that kind of gives you good information. The analytics have been tremendously useful. I had a skill that was like a translator skill that I hadn't even looked at for years. That using the skill quality score and stuff like that, I was able to actually raise its quality up by quite a bit by adding a few new features and toying around with some different ideas that I probably never would have looked at if it wasn't for that feature. The fact that you can just write some JavaScript code in the console now and build a skill is really awesome. I see the future of voice being a much more interactive place. I love Iron Man and the idea of having a voice assistant that literally is like a person in the room that you can talk to and have a conversation with and get so much more out of than what is there now. And I think a lot of that is going to be the capabilities of AI and what AI can do to help create that conversational understanding of things. Mm -hmm.